Wow, we got Mish and Al coming over to have a look at this. Can you see anything, Mish? I can see dirt. Good o. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's how deep we are. Right. Yeah. G'day folks, I'm the coffee bush kid in Central Vic and I am in Central Vic and I am not alone. The gang is back together. We have dirt fish, my arm's going the wrong way, dirt fish, mish, can't get it going, and Al. We've got Kate, oh, Caitlin from Detect Dead and we've got Pete from Pete's Gold Adventures. So the whole gang is back together again. If I do that, that's better. Viv will be happy with that one, won't you? So anyway, we are on the gold, or we're going to be trying to be on the gold. Uh, secret location, but uh, I reckon we'll have some good fun. Uh, we've got some surfacing areas to work. We've got other areas to work. There are mine shafts to play with, but not in. So, that being said, enough yabba from me. Let's get out and into it. Okay, well, we're out with Mish, Pete, Ed and Caitlin, Al, and I've come up and I've found this little washouty bit above where the old timers were working. And you can see here, glorious bedrock. Who's not drawn to that like a piece of swarf to a magnet, hey? Well, I had to signal mm, down here which you can see I've dug out. What I will do, put that there, and I will put the target in there carefully. Now what I'll do is I will put you near there. So there's my headphones. So we can hear that. But, you've got to be bloody careful. Right, let's zoom in. Yeah, yeah, shoddy pellet. No. That is the golden shoddy pellet. That's amazingly round. And I thought, oh, this is the stupidest piece of smallest bloody shotty pellet I've found. But that's, that's gold. I just can't believe how bloody round that is. But I am extremely happy to find it. That's amazing. That would have to go as probably one of my smallest pieces. But yeah, very happy with that. I'm gonna put that in my bloody container before it rolls away. And we'll keep looking. It's pretty brilliant. Alrighty. Down in here, I've got a really nice signal. So I'm above, above where I got the golden bird shot. You should be able to hear this. It's sounding good. There's all potential that it could just be lead, but it um, it's in really nice ground. We got those thunder. Um, we've got those nice colours just coming out. So ugh, we'll just see how we go. Well, we are out. And I don't mind that. It was it's down a nice little ways. The colour of the ground is nice looking. Yep. Take the big one out. <laughs> oh, and there it is. Look at this. Look at that. Nice. That's gonna be a nice piece. And it's still there. I'm gonna do, 
get rid of all that. Set that back up again. Oops, there it goes. It dropped out. Mumble grown grunt. There we go. In the fingers. Piece number two, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll just um, do it there. Well, that's bloody glorious. That was nice for a live dig. Wonder how the others are going. But, uh, take a bit more care coming down. We're about to stop for lunch in probably about half an hour. And, <laughs> the well, hey, as I nearly fall backwards, the sky may not be our friend, but you know, the, the 6,000 is still going well. Now, speaking of the 6,000, there we go. I've had a, a coil uh, shrinkage, must have washed it. So we're out playing with the 10 by five gold hawk today. Thank you very much, Guy. And it is certainly doing the job. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, without giving too much away, as he pants, down there was where I got my, my little bloody bird shot of gold. And we can sort of see here, I'm just on a bit of mullock that they would have thrown out from there. Now, if I hold you up to my neck where the speakers are, that's going off its face, isn't it? Well, there would be a reason Right. Keep doing that. There we, oh. there we go. There's our piece just right there. Try to one handedly. There we go. She's as flat as a bloody pancake. But regardless, oh look at the brightness. I'm gonna have to put my sunnies on. How's that? Nothing bloody wrong with that. These gullies and so forth where you got lots of bedrock. That's where the 10 by five, I reckon, really comes into its, into its own. But yeah, let's even do that. Oop, there we go. She is flat. But it doesn't matter, because it's going into my canister. Probably won't weigh that much, but by oh, geez, it's a nice bloody piece. So yeah, we'll keep playing along here. And that wasn't bad, like that was all of, oh, good three inches down, but yeah, screamer, love it. Well, since we are not on a bad spot, there's where I got my big flat piece. And here, That's what I've got now. Now I'm gonna switch you off. I'll come back when I've got it out of the ground. And there we are, I wasn't sitting too deep. The realities of gold prospecting. There we go, lead shot. Not my first for the day, more than likely won't be my last, but let's keep going nonetheless. Alrighty folks, it is time to talk lead shot. Do not look upon lead shot as a failure. It is a success, especially when you're swinging the likes of a GPX 6000. Now, that was lead shot there. Yep, no worries. Down here under me there, that was a bit of lead shot as well. But I thought to myself, you know what? Because I've just got two lead shot on this, and I'll we'll walk back here and look back. Okay, old timers hole. We can see the mound, it's very, very worn and everything like that. Then, right beside where I dug, just in there, I, there was another signal. It was surface, and you go, oh, that'll probably be another lead shot. Well, you know. Don't you believe it? There we go. Yep. Beautiful. Another piece of gold. 
Now, those two lead shot told me that no one's been over this uh, mullock heap with a 6,000. And now I've gone and got that just to prove the fact. So yeah, bloody great machine. But uh, that's my fourth bit for the day. Doing very well. Let's keep going. Well, the 10 by five gold hawk coil tech coil. Can it find stuff? Even right down to the point where I've got me a coin. But it's not just any coin, because it says peace and plenty up on top of there. And over this side, it actually says Warnock Brothers, Melbourne, and Molden. There you go, that's a half penny token. I probably know someone that's not going to be very happy with me. So I won't show her on film. There you go. Out prospecting and you get a half penny token. We'll keep going. Well, I got a nice little signal just down on the edge there. And if I do this, apart from the fact that my watch is there, I'll try it this way. There we go. And if we carefully, once it refocuses, there we go. Here's our nice little bit. I haven't done, oh. get it back up onto the knee. There we go. Haven't done too bad today. So that's pretty cool. What's that, number five or something? Very happy with that. All right, we'll keep going. All righty, folks, this is where we bid farewell to Pete. Uh, I'm gonna still keep going probably for another time with Mish and the gang. But thanks, Pete, for coming out. No worries, mate. Thanks for the invite. And uh, apparently you brought me to a place with gold, which was quite good. So I ended up with two from your spots. Yes, and you'll um, have to go over to Pete's to see what he got. Yeah. And what they look like. I'm a little bit extra beforehand, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone will be watching yours to see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Oh, thanks for having us along again. That's no worries. Awesome. Yeah, we will we'll dare say we'll catch up again at some point. Yes, soon we'll still too, to so. get out and do that rally hunt, so. Yep, yep, that'll be good. Mm. Alrighty. No so we'll say bye bye to, to Pete. Bye bye, Pete. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are back out on day two of the adventure. Just down the gully there. Yeah, see a waving hand, two wavy hands. There's Ed and Caitlin from Detect Ed. How are you folks going? Good. Anything? Lead. Anything? Bit of lead. Yeah, good art. There's a lot of that around here. He's climbing the slopes. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had my, oh, I think I've got We've only been going probably 20 minutes. I must be about seven pieces of lead in. But as we can see here, I'm just, a, where are we? just around, actually, if I did this, there we go. I'm just around the edge here of a shaft. I've got good bedrock down into a gully below me. I'm just mooching around. I've, I've kept the 10 by five on for today. I'm um, just mooching around what they've thrown out is a well washed down mullocky heap. And I got me a signal and it sounded just the same as all the lead shot. Except this one is the right colour. There she is just down there. It is. Oh, yeah, I can pick it up. And by gee, I hope I don't drop it. There we go. Look at that. Hmm. Nice. So there we go, that's my first little bit for today. So, we will put that in the canister and we will keep going. Now I've just turned my speakers up. This is the, how I found this piece. So over there was where we just got that little piece of gold. And this one. I think it sounds a little bit mellow. So I am going to dig that up 
and we'll see what we get. I'll show you what it is, whichever way it is. I told you I'd show you what it was. Down in there is a little roly poly bugger. Wrong color, wrong everything, but we found it nonetheless. Anyway, you can't dig the gold without the lead, unfortunately, especially in Central Vic anyway. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, just up there was where I got my last piece of gold and I don't know, probably another seven or eight shoddy pellets. It was just signals everywhere, you dig them all, no, only got one. So I've come back, walking down to a gully, beautiful. We got quartz and oh, all sorts of stuff. Bedrock, oh, lovely. And there were these pockets of stoppageness. And then you go, oh, geez, if I can get my footing right. You know, we've we've got all this slopey bit. I'm going to be having a bit of a swing up around there. But, you know, just mooching around, I've got a signal there. Now, it wasn't a very deep signal, as you can, you know, sort of see there. This is all good. Kinder surprise, all the way to the last, including where you've just got fines in the thing, there doesn't look to be anything solid there at all. Well, you know what? Yes, there was. That was in a piece of dirt that I had to squish between my fingers. But there we go, there's another little bit. Very, very water-worn. Shiny in the sun too. Glorious. We'll keep going, that's two for the day. Alrighty. Um, I've scraped there. Now, around me, and I hope the wind doesn't interfere too much, someone's dug down there and left a hole. Someone's, oh, someone's had a go there and left a hole open. So, you know, what am I going to do in a minute? I'm going to go there, aren't I? But there's where I got my piece. There's where I've got a signal. So I'm not far down, so you know I'm going to be mooching around all this stuff. And, of course, the quartz got my, got my interest up. And... Um, light signal, really, really light signal. We see anything? Yes, what I'm focusing on, center screen there. Let's get rid of all that. There we go. There's our bit. I'm going to carefully put it there. Empty that out. <clears throat> now we'll come back out to there. Look at that in the sunlight. All right, here we go. There she goes. Nice, nice little bit there. So that's number three for the afternoon. Got to be happy with all that. I'm only going slowly. I'm only mooching around with the 10 by 5 coil on the GPX 6000. Oh, the afternoon's good. Still got to catch up with Mish and Al. I think Al was doing relic work. Uh, Mish is on the 6000. I think she's running the 10 by 5 as well. We'll catch up with her later on, see what she's got. Just mooching my way up the gully. I was just down there, coming up here, following the bedrock. Shoddy pellet, shoddy pellet, shoddy pellet. Still had a signal. Dug it up again. It's in that clay stuff. There we go. And if I do that. Yep, that near my thumb. Oh, buddy, lights at a premium. Here's another bit of gold. They're only small bits, but do you know what? They all add up. I'm happy to get them. There we go. Ooh, let's do that. Righty ho. Yeah, she's another bit. What's that one? Number four? I don't mind this area. They're only little, but they're very, very water-worn. But they'll add up. Don't you worry about that. 
Down in there. Now, there we go, there's my hand to the side there. The dirt level was up here. Signal came out from down in here. It was just faint. Just really, really faint. Um, if I do that, that little bit just above me thumb, that's me little bit of gold. Now, I heard it come. There you go. Another ring. It is only small, but by geez, they're adding up. And it's just glorious to find. Like I'm finding, I'm doing my Jews with the lead shot, but the finding of the gold is nice. No reefy stuff yet, but it's probably where I'm working. Anyway, into the container it goes. Hello. Hello, there she is. There's a, it almost seems there's a great divide between you and I. For a little one at the very least. Yeah, it's probably uh, all a 12 foot deep. <laughs> See you later. See ya. <laughs> Alan and I are here. He's got himself a signal down there. Potential token. Who knows? We can only dream. We can only dream. <laughs> There's young miss. You're looking hot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, heat wise. <laughs> well, you know, take, you can take it both ways if you like. Hello, Viv. <laughs> hey, hey, Viv. <laughs> so, oh, what have you got? I, I, I've had a good day out. That's what I've got. I've got... The experience of being out in the Australian bush so you, and also pretty much diddly squat. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I could hear what that was going on. Like. <laughs> been finding the lead? Ah, uh, no. Yes. Been... <laughs> <laughs> See, the unfortunate part about a machine like this is you don't know if you've got lead or iron or what. No, you found... just got to dig it. Just got to dig it. Found plenty of iron, a little bit of lead shot. Okay. Some mystery item of some sort, but yeah, yeah. nothing to sing and dance about. Yeah, fair enough. We've got five. Five lead shot? No. no. Oh, I've got five score of lead shot. Mm. No, I've got five bits. Jeez, far out. Up that way. Oh. There's room for two. Could be room for three. Lead the way. <laughs> anyway, we're in a lovely spot. So you can see, geez, with all the coffee bush around here, you'd nearly think that a bloke could have got his name at one point, couldn't you? But we won't give too much away. But if you can guess where we are, by this bush, you're doing well. Anyway, we might head up the hill. Well, not that you'll be able to see too much. I oh, don't know, I can't see. There's a gully there. I'm in a surfaced area. We can just sort of see the hump down here. I've got a signal. I'll run the detector over it so you can hear it. So I got you up near me beard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now, can anyone see anything? I reckon we will go in like this. And we're going in. Can we see anything? I'm looking through the viewfinder too, so. Oh, if we do that. I'm shaking a bit. There we go. That there. That's a little bit of gold. That's sitting in situ. In situ, that's where it is. So that's pretty neat. I might call Michonelle over to have a look at that. They're not far away. Be back with you in a tip. Wow, we got Mish and Al coming over to have a look at this. Usually if we were relic detecting, I'd invite you to have a look in my hole. But uh, this time, why don't you have a look at my scrape? Oh dear. What's he gone and done, folks? Yeah, what's he gone and done? Hi. Can you see anything, Mish? I can see dirt. Good-o. A couple of lines there. Al, can you see anything in there? Nothing exciting other than there's a couple of lines. Just there's there's something maybe here slave. or something maybe here. Yeah, well, look, 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 look a little bit better. Come on, have a good look. I have a sniff too, or...? Well, no, well, yeah, keep, no, 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 don't even look in the scrape. I mean, don't look at the dirt. Look at where I've scraped. Right, 
What? <laughs> looking, looking, looking. Who's going to see it first? Looking, looking, looking. Yeah, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Don't you hit that with the muddy digger. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's how deep we are. Right. So, enough of this, buddy. Yes. Buggerizing around. This. How big is the piece? Oh. Yep. <laughs> nearly covered it. And it's gone. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just decided, I haven't even got a buddy digger on me. Has anyone got a digger? Oh, L, look at that. L to the yeah. rescue. Thank you very much. Let's do that. Let's catch. Hello, right there. Oh, yeah, see the nice cool piece in it. Yeah. Hello. Right, there's that. How big is it? Oh, no, just, <laughs> just picking it up in my fingers. There, there we go. Is. Oh, that's a nice piece. Oh, look at that. There we go. So it wasn't that deep. So that's only probably, oh, well, leaf litter was on top. So we'll say two inches with leaf litter. But yeah, that's that's a nice round piece, that one. Well done, you. Well done, me indeed. It's a nice, we do that. There we go. In its natural surroundings. And if we do that. No. Uh, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> we'll put it in the container and keep going. Alrighty, folks, that is it for this adventure. So we've got the gang there. Mi oh, my arm goes everywhere. <laughs> Mission L, uh, Ed and Caitlin from Detected. Oh, and me! Where's me? Yeah, there. Oh, nearly lost the finger then. Um, so, we are finished for this adventure. We've been out chasing gold. There's been GPX 6000s with 10x5 coils. There's been legends, there's been deuses, there's been the Algo Force E1500. And most of us have got gold, which has been pretty good. Some of us, or nearly all of us, have got relics. And we have all got lead shot. So there we go, cleaning up the environment. Look at us eco-warriors. But anyway, all good things come to an end and this adventure of the Coffee Bush Kid has done the same. So, thanks guys for coming up, playing in the, in the golden triangle there. I hope you've all had a nice time. Absolutely. And keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And we will catch you next time.